Hello and welcome to this little tutorial on how to update the firmware on your circuit to version 1.8. So with the circuit hardware connected over USB cable to your computer, you open the Novation Components app. If you click on the firmware tab, um, it shows you the current version of your firmware and also shows you that there's an update available. So in 1.8, the new features are non-quantized record, synth microstep edit, per note velocity, and assignable MIDI channels. We'll quickly take a look at these, but now I'm going to hit update. This will then push the firmware update over the USB cable from your computer to the circuit. And once the firmware has been installed on your circuit, it's going to reboot. And once it reboots, you're officially running version 1.8. So we can dive right in and take a look at the features. All right, so the first feature on the list in version 1.8 is non-quantized record. You can now add micro steps onto synth paths. So let me just get two hi-hats happening on the hats and take a look at the second synth. And then um, if I hit shift and press the record button, it's dimly lit now, which means that you're in non-quantized record brightly lit is quantized record dimly lit is non-quantized so let me hit record and let's just do a part here all right with that one bar pattern in you can hear that the notes don't quite fall on the grid and that's where we get into gate mode to take a look at the micro steps and the top row are the micro steps as you can see micro step number six on the first step and micro step number six on the second one and so on you can see all of these steps have six micro steps displayed in the top row and the position is easily moved by pressing any of the other micro steps and if i go back into note mode i can step edit each of these steps and if i press the step i can add a second note on top of each of these notes and since the circuit is six note polyphonic i can go up to six notes higher in this example, I'm going to just stick to two just to show you how the micro step edit works. And if I go into gate mode, you can see that the notes I added in step edit mode have been added on this first micro step. So if I press the first note on this step, you can see it's on the sixth micro step and the second note is on the first one. So I can move the second one to the fifth micro step. And I can keep doing this. Uh, moving of micro steps across the edit and you can hear that there's a flam happening between the notes that i added on non-quantized record mode versus step edit mode so that's like one of the more fun things you can do with uh, the new micro step edit feature on the circuit version 1.8 uh, you can get that kind of slammed chord sound that dilla sound if you will happening on the circuit which was not possible before and it had a very mechanical kind of sound this opens up a whole new world of possibilities and for the third feature on the list which is per note velocity we will jump into the velocity mode and in velocity mode you can see the range of velocities from the lowest to the highest of all the notes contained in that step the brightly lit pads indicate the lowest velocity and the dimly lit pads indicate the highest velocity in that step. And if we press shift on the note, we see that the velocity is dimly lit. A dimly lit velocity button means per note velocity is enabled as opposed to a fixed velocity. This is a big one since it allows for much more expressive chords either on the circuit itself or if you use it to trigger other instruments and on that note let's take a look at the last feature on the list which is assignable midi channels for this we will need to take the circuit into setup mode which is done by pressing the shift button and powering the device up and the top two rows now display midi channel information for each of the tracks so the brightly lit first pad is channel 1 and the last one is 16 and that's for global mode so it's not assignable to anything so now I'm going to take synth 1 and move that to channel 3 and take synth 2 and move that to channel 4 and as you can also see the drums are all sending on channel 10 so what this allows me to do is leave 1 and 2 open uh, for external care such as my cog walker 
and I can now have them MIDI sync to each other and I will not have the Volca receive note information through MIDI from the circuit which now means I can add much more external gear to my circuit based setup. So there you have it. Those are the four new features that come with version 1.8 of the circuit. Each of these is a fantastic new feature and I just love the fact that Novation keeps adding these amazing updates to such a powerful little box. So that was version 1.8 of the circuit firmware. Thank you so much for watching. That's it. Catch you on the next one.